Good evening everyone. So I'm Danielle Kreich and I own Danielle Sweet Treats. What a lot of you don't also know is I am the owner of The Cussing Caker. So lives are normal on The Cussing Cake pages but on Danielle Sweet Treats it's quite different. Um, it's quite scary I'll be honest. So for anybody that's not seen any of my lives, welcome and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> So I'm Danielle and my mum Rachel is on the comments today. Have you got it up? Yep, we're on a roll. <laughs> We've got it, we're on a roll. <laughs> Normally I have to sort it out for us, so we're okay. I'm professional now. <laughs> okay, so thank you everybody for joining. There's just a couple of things. I have wrote lots of things down because my brain is like a sieve, as a lot of you will know. I'm awful. Okay, so tonight's live is based on cake cream. This is made by the lovely Emily Coyle, who owns Sugar Sisters. She's also the, sh the sister of Amy Coyle, who owns Sweet Stamps. They both have Sugar Sisters together. But Cake Cream is Emily's little baby. And I have got to be perfectly honest, I am new to this stuff. I baked with it last week once, and then I've played with it today. So I am a newbie to this product. But I am absolutely in love with it. The reason I've not played with it absolutely shitloads is for the fact of not everybody knows how to use every product to start with and I don't want to come on and lie and say oh yeah I know everything when I have absolutely no idea I'm new to it I love the product so I'm going to do a live on it and Emily and Amy are good friends of mine so I said I'd happily do a live using their product and I love it since playing with it I really love it so any questions that I can't answer. Emily is watching. Emily gives a wave. <laughs> and I'm sure she will answer anything you have to ask. That's if I can't help because I'm not really that great on anything. It's a whole new world for me with this. Okay, so there's a couple of things. There will be a giveaway for a like and share. So like and share the post. We had 2,400 watchers Tuesday. We did have 2,400 watchers. So I want to smash that today. I know it's different and I know I'm on my own page, but I want to smash the 2,400. So help me smash that. I will love you all forever. Onky doke. So then at some point during the live, I will give you a, a code, which if you're a regular follower, you already know the word, but you'll find it hilarious when I tell you what it is. <laughs> and that will give you 20% off of everything at Sugar and Crook, no, oh dear Lord. Everything at Sugar Sisters. Holy shit, I'm mixing up already. Sorry, Emily. <laughs> <laughs> it will give you 20% off of everything at Sugar Sisters and cakecream.com. So if you're not in England and you want to order the cake cream, then go directly to cakecream.com. That is better altogether for international shipping but anyone else like England and Ireland go to Sugar Sisters okay so that's the 20% off code that I will give you at some point in the live so you'll have to keep watching if you want that and it's only valid for a short period of time so get straight in there and um, also with the giveaway for the like and share I'll be shouting out a winner tomorrow at 8 p.m. and that's for one bag of every single colour and every single flavour so that's over £100 worth of stock of cake cream and you can bake with it you can decorate cakes with it it's really really versatile and it's fabulous stuff comes in bright vibrant colours lovely flavours you'll have lots of fun with it okay my turn I can crack the hell on go on <laughs> <laughs> right 297 viewers at the moment that's oh, excellent that's um plenty of comments on uh, loving your videos hello fabulous from here from there and loving the new kitchen cupboards yes i had fun last night <laughs> <laughs> okay no. so today's theme we're going for flamingo so i did bake these today having lots of fun it cracked a little bit because i apparently nudged the oven and turned the oven too hot but that's fine if you meringue or anything correct just turn it down a little smidge so flamingo theme perfect <laughs> Onky doke. So I'm going to crack straight on. Right, 315. Viewing at the moment, excellent. Oh, absolutely fabulous. If um, Emily says anything, you can tell me what Emily says. Okay. Yep. So 
I am cheating today. I've not made a cake, but that's because I was too busy playing with my kitchen and playing with the kids. And, and Donna's loving your curls as well. Thank you, Donna. <laughs> so I have cheated and I have bought cake in. So I, for any other bakers, if you don't want to really make the cake, but you're happy with the decorating, then I recommend Sweet Success. They are absolutely fabulous, lovely, delish cakes. Mm. So I don't get to use them very often. And I normally use them for lives. So we're going to be using Sweet Success Vanilla Cakes. Beautiful. So I'm going to get them out ready and launch the boxes behind you, my mum, my mother. I could launch them down here into the bin. No, because I don't want my bill, bin filled up with boxes to burn now. Okay, so we'll just put them <laughs> there on the floor and then we'll burn them. I've got to admit, I'm super nervous about this live. Say so I do lives weekly. I've never done one really on my Daniel Sweet Yeah, page, but it's so your right. page. It's so... I know, but customers are now watching me. <laughs> Not just cake makers. <laughs> okay. So that's how uh, tall this cake's going to be. Okay, Debbie would like to know why do you use a small board on top? I'm going to be using a small board underneath. For one, it helps with stability when I'm moving it around. And two, it's great for if you're stacking, so then it's more supported under your dowels on your dowels and everything and three it adds a tiny little bit more height so we can't go wrong there okay right michelle quinn sweet, oh. sis, uh, sweet success are fabulous i love them okay so the color cake we're doing is blue i absolutely love this color right you have to bear with me because it's not this one is not my recipe i've got everything written out so i don't say everything wrong god help i say something wrong like I already have. <laughs> okay, so water. When I can. Yep, I don't know where my jug is, so we're just going to do it that. Right, I've got a question. What? Michelle Ward. Hi, Danielle and Hi. Mum. A naughty mum for your driving. I showed everyone your cake. Oh! <laughs> it actually, I can't like be blamed totally for that because somebody did pull out on me and I didn't realise. I'd, well, I kind of forgot with it being dark that there was a cake in the footwell. <laughs> and then when I pulled up, it was slightly... Um, in half. In half, leaning over. And what was even more funny is when I went... I found Danielle and said, what do I do? She said, just pick it up. You'll have to just put it back together. My Shut fingers it, oh, sunk hands. into the cake, which <laughs> gave me ten fingers to lick buttercream icing off. Fantastic. Okay. So, you'll have to bear with me on this. First you need butter, 450 gram, 454 grams. And then you also want it warm so soft as in your finger will go straight through it. So microwave in 10 second blast until it's ready. Um, okay, Rachel would like to know um, what exactly is cake cream? Okay, no, so it's a Swiss meringue buttercream mix. It makes meringues, macarons, macaroons, cookies, brownies, cake, Swiss meringue buttercream, really easy because there's nothing worse than making that fresh. Jesus, I hate making that fresh and I always mess up. So this is an absolute godsend. Okay, what was the code again, please? You're not going to get it until later on. <laughs> you will know I the word. I just would know if it was a trick. There's a couple of people said they think they know what it is. You might do. Uh, is there any difference from the wooden dowels to the plastic dowels? Wooden dowels, you're actually not supposed to use for the risk of splinters. So plastic dowels or K-pop sticks or the poly dowels. Any of them will be fine. So just going to give that a little warm up and Donna, if you're still watching, you can have this cake when I'm done. Tell the girls I've got flamingo cake. Because you said you didn't want it, so. I can't eat another cake. I've still got bits of last one. I just took uh, I took some <laughs> to the girls at work and I took some tea, Grandad. Oh, fabulous. Everybody's got cake and I've still got some left at home, which I might have with a coffee when I go to bed later on. Uh, okay, I'm just weighing everything out as I'm going. Like I said, I'm new to this. So I'm just double checking everything so I don't go wrong. 250 grams or mils of tepid water. So warm like a baby's bottle, but not too hot, if that makes sense. 492. Fabulous. This is good. Keep liking and sharing to get yourself in for the prize. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Caroline would like to know if the code begins with an O. 
Maybe. Oh, well, I think we all know what it is now then, don't we? <laughs> but you will have to wait and see for later. Right. Yeah, because she might change it. <laughs> we will probably change it now. But to be honest, the the coach doesn't actually work until I shout it out. So you're kind of screwed anyway if you do know the code. Oh, Samantha, hello from Dublin. Hi. Oh, God, I'm spotting this everywhere. Oh, so, why not make a mess in the kitchen? <laughs> so this cake will stay in this kitchen with me or it will go to my best friend Donna if she decides she wants it. Or so, a piece of it might still go home with Nanan. <laughs> a piece might go home with my mum still. So I'm not being as hygienic as I normally would be with my customers' orders. Usually there's hair nets and I look like I've been dragged through a bush backwards. Right. Oh, I've lost my scissors. So... Please yeah, but when you're all to... fully hygienic and all those kind of things, the cake does not take two hours to no. decorate in front of everybody. No, the takes cake takes five, five six. or six. So I am being as quick as I can for two hours. Okay, now, so to 454 grams of warm butter, soft warmed butter, the whole packet. So all 400 grams of cake cream. Val, just to let you know, thank you for being concerned about Johnny, but he has just been cooking a chicken. <laughs> No takeaway today. No takeaway, no cheese on toast, no red wine, chicken. Brilliant. So at first you just want it on low just to combine it all together. If you don't have a lid to your mixer, then chop it in so then you don't get the dust cloud. But seeing as I've got a lid, I kind of just pop it in. Beth can't wait for Rob's cake next month. Oh, thanks Beth, I can't wait either. Good evening from Wales. Hi. So I apologise, this will be loud for the next five minutes, so you might want to turn me down. I apologise. I've been trying to turn you down for years, babe. Shut up! <laughs> Emily says if she could decorate the cake as fast as you do in the live, she'd be doing amazing. <laughs> what, Emily Coyle? Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> With a big cheesy smile. Yes, Emily's the lady who makes this. Okay, Karen, oh my God, but your full pack of recipes. Uh, everyone is thinking about purchasing it and doing it. This information is amazing and will be an amazing time uh, saver for you all. Oh, fantastic, thank you. Right, I am going to whap it up and slowly pour in the water. What's your blender, Danielle? Kenwood Chef. <laughs> talking over the mix then great okay did you put the color in or does it does it come like that they come in loads of different colors or that's they a come, fantastic color or they come in whisper white i have got to say for the flamingos i mixed my bright bubblegum pink and the white together i can't get it off of this used your pack for an oreo cake and it turned out perfectly thank fantastic. you that's sarah oh fantastic so I will go all over when I go to bed I'll go over them and I will answer each single one of you individually and answer it that way but I need to get this done <laughs> so we're on 528 views at the moment that's excellent keep liking and sharing Uh, 
Everybody heard me talking in the background then, otherwise it was just a, a oh, very loud screech. Yeah, <laughs> we're in sound. If you can hear us over the mixer, that's great. But everything that everyone's talking about is available on the website www.daniellesweettreats.co.uk. I'm halfway there, so then the mix can go off for a while. Uh. Do you sell the green cake? turn that off and I'm really loud shouting in the background <laughs> I'm just trying to sort this it's all together all well it's just very slippy in the bowl it's blue what an amazing color it's gorgeous that's why we decided to go with blue rather than the pink so yeah. I'm going to use some pink really vibrant it's gorgeous right. we are very nearly done very nearly done so uh, cake queen comes in black and red they're amazing because you don't have to use a ton of colour. Yep, nice black one. Oh, that looks nice. Lemon in white. So the flavoured as well. Most, all the coloured ones are vanilla flavoured, but then there is some that is um, flavoured and white, which I will be using one later on. Abby, and that's what's in the mixer at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> and how deep are the uh, Sweet Success cakes? Two and a half inch deep each. Five. How wide? Six inch. What are you looking at? It's nearly coming out. It's <laughs> Thank God I have painted already. Oh, Debbie's just bought the navy one for a Spurs cake. It is an amazing colour, Cindy. It looks am absolutely amazing. Emily loves the dark because you can also save money because you're not using lots of the expensive colouring. So that's an yeah, excellent tip. It is. Right, just one last thing and then it'll all be together. Um, could you not have added all the water at once? Uh, no, you dribble it in slowly. I know it takes a little while, but it is so worth it. And it's still quicker than making it fresh. Right, okay, okay. okay. It's making it fresh, Jesus Christ. You've got to melt all your sugar and tip that in even slower. 
Okay, so Kelly made the caramel you made the other night and that was oh delicious. Fabulous, I'll be using that and the jam today in these recipes. Oh good, because I'm dying to taste that caramel. It was too hot last time, I couldn't put my finger in it. Of course. <laughs> right, so last little burst of this and then we're ready to go. Okay. Laura, super addicted to your lives. I haven't missed one of them. Oh, today. making it and it's a bit noisy i'm sorry but it is so worth it in the end and now i've just got to get it off of them oh brooks from the us and could listen to us talk all day <laughs> that's probably good because neither of us shut up very often no we don't <laughs> karen never misses a live love watching oh fantastic uh, tracy wants to know if we're both going to be licking the cake this evening no not today but i will be taking a piece home quite possibly most uh, no, not possibly. Most definitely, just because it will be rude not to. How much is the cake cream, please? And that's from Julie. And um, so each pack different is different because there's different weights. Some are flavoured, some aren't. So I'm sure Emily can help. Check if, on the website or go to the website. Yes. Which is? Um, there's the cake cream website, cakecream.com, or there's Sugar Sisters. So it's available at both. Oh, Jesus Christ, my heavy mixer. Are you okay, Mother? Yes, I'm just reading. <laughs> um, more newbies. Excellent. We're on 620 at the moment. Oh, fabulous. I want to try and beat 2,400 from what I had on Tuesday. So, so let's get liking and sharing. Yes, like and share. I know we might have lost a lot because it was a noisy start. But we're here. Um, hi from Canada. The cake cream over is the cake cream overly sweet? No, I actually don't like buttercream, but I really like this. Oh. See, I'm not the biggest fan of the buttercream either. <laughs> the I think it's because I watch how much of the butter goes in the buttercream, and then the sugar, and then the sugar. Shall I add all, shall I add all three, or shall I just use two? Uh, why do you use two, and then I could have the other one to play with? And you could give me another lesson, which we could video and do as a live. <laughs> anyway, if you can't talk right now, I'm busy doing my job. Um, <laughs> Kelly, how was the cake that got wrecked in the car? Finger licking fabulous. Thank you very much. Uh, what cake flavour is that, please? So this one is vanilla. Mm. Vanilla cake, vanilla frosting stuff. Well, vanilla SMB, see. Uh, and that's the jam that you made, that she made yes. in, a, in a live the other night. Uh, Giovanna, made your apple crumble cupcakes oh. today. Needless to say, I haven't got any spare. They How rude. They are to die for. They're one of my favourites. Okay. Uh, Joan, first time watching. Love you guys. Oh, Excellent. Crap. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now I'm able to talk and everyone can hear me. Yes. Oh, I'm blinding myself on the new lights. Um... Lindsay, uh, she tried it at the NEC and it's really silky yes. soft 
in your mouth really nice it's there's the dowels dowels in the go which apparently don't help if you drive like lewis hamilton and then she pulls them up snips them off with the wire cutters and pushes them back in so Alison loves what you've done with your cupboards. Lots of fab Thank ideas. Thank you. And then I'm going to paint the tiles white. I'm going to cover this thing. How interesting, Debbie. I sure wish you could order pre-made cakes over here in Canada. Um, you might be able to order Sweet Success cakes because they actually last for weeks. They are fabulous and last for a few weeks. Really? Well, that. Mm, so then, yeah, giving on the post times and things. Grab the box and I'll... Uh, you want me to actually move? Yeah. Okay, bear with me. I launched it, yeah? Yes. I'll get you done for abuse. So, this is dated for the end of August. So, that's fabulous. They do last a long time, so it might be able to survive shipping. And I've even had one. I saved one purposely to see how it went after the dates. Absolutely fine. Couldn't even tell. Oh, there you go then. So, yes, you would be able to order them. For Canada, then it's just whether they should. Yeah, do, you'd have to Give have a, a word message. with them. You never know. They are really, really helpful there as well. The lovely girls. <gasps> Emily, wow, guys, like and share, like and share. I'm giving away over a hundred pounds worth pounds of, of this. cake, cr cake cream to one lucky person who likes yes. and shares. Yes, and I will draw that tomorrow at eight p.m. That's it then. Just made the cake and put mm. golden syrup in. My daughter said, "Yuck." <laughs> As I said, be thankful it's not mayonnaise. Yeah. <laughs> honestly, mayonnaise in chocolate cake. That is never... disgusting. It's disgusting, but honestly, it makes the nicest chocolate cake. Salt in jam's nice, though, is it? Apparently so. <laughs> <laughs> Loads of likes and shares going on, so oh, that's excellent. Fabulous. 769 so far. Oh, I'm so happy. Let me check that. <laughs> <laughs> perfect so danielle did you show your mum the cake i made from hers and yes she yes, did yes i texted her yes she sent me a picture and i was well impressed and i liked the fact that you'd put the icing around the base of the orange i thought that looked really nice really nice and pretty yeah okay. it did it was done really well so this first layer is called a crumb coat and that's to hold your crumbs in which is especially good for crumb uh, for sugar not sugar paste buttercream cakes or smbc cakes like this that actually looks like it's spreading on easier than buttercream. I've got it cut. It's silkier. Yeah, it does look. It's a shinier product as well, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So will it dry with that shine? Um, Emily, I believe it does. That would be good. We'll have a nose, eh? So it's Swiss meringue buttercream. Nice and fluffy. And I'll tell you what's really nice with it. If you make... Um, do you know those tea cakes where it's a biscuit, the marshmallow in a dome of chocolate. Vile. Absolutely I vile. love them. They're disgusting. I must be adopted. You probably are, to be fair. <laughs> Is now the time to tell you you're adopted? Probably. Yeah. No, you're not. You're definitely mine. <laughs> I've got the grey hair and the bags around my eyes to prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Okay, so I'm going to maybe pronounce this wrong. I don't know. Amy Louise says, do you ever use ermine buttercream? Um. No, I'm going to say no. I can't think what that is. No. I'm sorry, my darling. I can't e -R -M -I -N -E. think. E-R-M-I-N-E. I'm going to say Ermine, no. Ermine. I cannot think what that is for the life of me. It sounds familiar, but I don't know what it is. You may have to just, like, explain that a little bit to me and then I might be able yes. to help. <laughs> Don't forget, peeps, like and share to win the uh, £100 of cake cream. So it's one bag of every colour and every flavour. Wow. I know. I didn't even get that. <laughs> uh, Debbie, what's the, co what's the company for the cakes again, please? For the cakes, that's Sweet Success. And for the cake cream, it's available at Sugar Sisters or cakecream.com. Interesting question, Megan. Can you get vegan ready-made cake sponges? Um, they used to do vegan cupcakes, but they have a vegan cake mix that you can use, I believe. Or... If you buy my pack nine, there's a vegan recipe in there for chocolate cake, lemon cake and vanilla cake. And we would buy the pack on your website, which yep. is... www.daniellesweetcheats.co.uk Perfect. And Alison would like to know what colour is that that you're actually using? Uh, shit. I've... I don't think it's that colour. No. Oh, I'll, I'll... Frozen ice. It's called frozen ice. Oh, so way. perfect colour for making a cake of frozen. Frozen. <laughs> I know. 
Aren't they supposed to be making another film of Frozen? Just oh as we got God, rid of I Frozen hope not. I hope not. <laughs> I'm still only just surviving the last one. And we all moved out, so I no. don't know what you're complaining at. Does Dad like to watch it in bed? No, neighbours used to sing it at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, first time here with you. Hear about the cakes you've made. Where can I find your what recipes? What was that? I oh don't... no, it's my elastic band in my ears popped and I thought it flew into my head. <laughs> Shit myself. <laughs> That's the biggest panic ever. Let me go and grab a bottle. That's hilarious. Oh. So... While she's going to get a bubble, I'm obviously going to finish the cake for a perfect no, no, night. get back! I'm just spooning on the cake stuff. Stop it! I'm not doing anything. You're touching! Get no. back! <laughs> Did you lick things? No, I didn't lick anything. Are you sure? Promise. No licking. Normally, I don't have you near my kitchen because I have to start shit because you lick stuff. I've stopped licking stuff now. <sighs> lots of likes and shares, lots of likes and shares. Uh, oh, uh, Samantha, Emily, I just love, love, love the cake cream. Made it the way it is. Oh, it's too many comments already. I've lost it. That was a hard time. Oh, <laughs> I've lost the comment. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm halfway through a comment and it's moved and I've lost it. So let's have a look. Uh, love your lives. Watch every week. Does it set? Does it set like buttercream? Um, it sets a little bit firmer, yes. But you can also pop it in the fridge to fill it up a bit more if you wanted. Like I said, I'm not great with questions on this, so Emily is available if you need her. She is watching as we're going. Whilst I have a little meltdown here, I'm sorry. That's all right. Babe, can I just interrupt and ask a question? No. Um, <laughs> oh, I, oh, it's all right. I think I've figured it out. Okay, I've worked it, it out. It was a technical question, but I'm here. Uh, let's have a look. I was joking. Of course, you can ask me a question. <laughs> well, I know that really, but I, I answered my own question anyway. Um, once it's so, will you put that in the in the fridge to chill it so it sets a little bit? Um, no, no, I'm not going okay. to today. Now, but would you normally if it was a cake that you were selling? Um, probably yes. So it's easier to move to a different board, and I haven't got to worry about it being messy on the board as I move it over. Okay, okay. Um, can you put this product under fondant? Um, it's very very soft. I wouldn't. That's more. That's me personally playing with it now, but I'm sure Emily can dive into that a bit more. So I don't think you can actually put SMBC under but under sugar paste. Uh, Kirsty says James said you should get Jake helping. Kirsty and James. Mm, Kirsty Louise Fiddler. Ah. <laughs> says James says you should get Jake helping. Um, uh, tempting. <laughs> He won't bake with me because I don't do it properly, apparently. No, she buys them packs from Tesco and he kicks off her. That's not how you make a cake. No, you need butter and flour and eggs. <laughs> He's a mummy's boy. He wants to be a baker when he gets older, apparently. Excellent. But then he also wants to make Pokemon reels, so. Oh, well, yeah. Always plenty to, choo and plenty to choose from. Okay, so I'm not going to de over-decorate this. I'm going to let everything speak for itself. Um. And then we're going to get on to baking some bits. So I'm going to show you how to make raspberry and cream cheese muffins, cupcakes, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to show you how to make salted caramel brownies, all using the cake cream. Is uh, is that just one bag of the icing that you've used there? Yes, darling, it is. It is, and it is the... Frozen uh, ice blue. Frozen it's ice flavor. blue. And it's the 400 gram bag. 883 is, views. There's a recipe on the back of every single pack. How many views? Ah, oh, here we go, eh, mate? Here mine is the flour, sugar, milk and butter one. Cook the flour and milk. No. Right, so that answers That's your question. A no. mm -hmm. It's a no. How many views did you say, Ron? Uh, we're on 894. Oh, fabulous. Can cake cream be coloured if you don't if they if the colour you want isn't available? Yes, yes you can. I coloured it with pastes earlier. Um, it loosened the consistency very, very, very slightly, but it worked. Hi Stephen. Uh, step away from the cake. <laughs> 
same colour as your hair, yes. Yeah. Okay, so to get a smooth edge, you hold the scraper on. This is the Sugar Sisters scraper that I'm using that I use every single time. That's available at Sugar Sisters as well, which remember the 20% off if you do decide to buy anything. A lot of you have told me you are already filling your baskets. Uh, yeah. So scraper on, arm over, and just nice and gentle, take your time, round in one. That way you get a nice smooth nice smooth finish without multiple lines and stops all the way around it. Uh, Paul would like to know if it's available and gluten free. Um, it's made, it is gluten free, but it's made in a place where gluten is there, so there may be traces. So then you go at an angle with your palette knife just to take it from the top. You don't want to do it from straight in front of you, you want to go at an angle from yourself. Look how smooth and silky it is and I'm not even having, having to hot palette it like I do buttercream. So it's taking a lot less time as well. So do not lick it. The apron says, I was trying to lose weight. I saw cake. Cake saw me. Cake disappeared. I'm a magician. Yes. And that's one of the custom made aprons. And my other bubbles just snapped on my head. At least I didn't shit myself this time. Um. <laughs> Hi, Jamie from South Wales. Hi. Does it go nice with wine? Totally. Yes, everything goes nice with wine. Okay. So... I can pipe on top with the rest of that. Okay. okay. So used uh, cake cream for the first time two weeks ago and it was absolutely Fabulous. amazing. It's such a game changer. And the colours are so bright. The amount of gel I'd have to add to that to make that vibrant that colour yeah. is unbelievable. It is a lovely colour. Sorry, I'm just washing as I go, trying to be good. Okay, so Michelle says once it's chilled, you could cover it in sugar paste. Oh, fabulous then. I wouldn't. <laughs> but I'm picky. I like specific things. Yep, like just... I said, I'm new to it. I need to have a bit more of a practice. A bit more of a playtime. Yeah. Just cleaning my surface. Okay, so Sean would like to know is how long would that cake be okay to eat? Swiss meringue buttercream has a shorter life, doesn't it? Um, when made fresh, yes, but it's made from pasteurised eggs. So you are actually better off. So oh, slow down with the antibacterial. <laughs> no, I like my antibacterial. Oh. So you're good for the seven days your cake's fresh for. How would you use this to make macaroons? So the recipe will be on the uh, cake cream website eventually and the sugar sisters just not yet emily and i've done a couple of tests myself we're trying to make sure everything's perfect we don't want to keep well emily doesn't want to keep posting recipes up and having to change them constantly so she's making sure everything is perfect before she shows you guys she's doing it properly kelly would like to know which of the packs has all the cake recipes please okay so all the cake recipes you'd be looking at pack two However, there is, if you're just wanting recipes and no information, there is a bundle pack of pack two, which is all 31 cake recipes, pack seven, which is the cookie recipes, and pack eight, which is the sweet treats, so like brownies and cheesecakes and things. Could you make this into a cream cheese buttercream? Um, you might be able to. <laughs> You'd have to ask Emily on that one. But I have made it, um, I've edited it into a cream cheese filling to be cooked using it which i'll be showing you on the brownie no on the cupcakes later right lucy parks with regards to your packs um if you've got problems downloading them through danielle will look message. at these questions and things later after the uh, live finishes yeah. she'll get straight back to you and if, let you know how to do it sometimes when the website's really really busy it tends to glitch and sometimes it doesn't download properly where it making it unable to work so if you just pop me a message and i'll manually email everything back over to you mm. i'm missing the cornflower uh, emma um i'm more than happy to answer any questions but you have to bear with me in case i miss one but yes i did get your questions earlier so that's perfect everything will be answered by myself tonight so i'll do yours could you make a drip with this oh i'm unsure that'd be something worth trying though i think 
926 views, guys. Oh, fabulous. So keep remembering, like and share the post for the chance to win. Uh, no, Emma, you haven't missed the code yet. Don't worry. <laughs> what size was the scraper? Okay, so that scraper is a super scraper and it's 10 inches tall from Sugar Sisters. And I love to use it for everything. Watching from Ireland. Lovely jubbly. Watching oh, from yeah. Alabama. Okay, so I'm rolling out because I'm going to use a square board today. Just trying to keep the square shape as I'm going. I'm turning it so it doesn't stick. If you get any bubbles in it, do not worry. It's not the sugar paste. It's just the way you needed it. Use a little needle, toothpick or acupuncture needle. Just to pop it and then you're fine. Can you put drip onto, onto the top of it? Would you have to let it set slightly first? I'm going to play with drip after, so we'll Interesting. see. Interesting. <laughs> like I said, I am new to it myself. I baked with it, but I've not played with it properly like this. But I found it better to be honest and say I'm new to it, rather than pretending I know absolutely everything about a product I've barely used. Uh, could you colour it using dusts? Um, I'm presuming so, my darling. I'd mix it in with a tiny bit on the side in a separate bowl first and then add that to your main batch so it goes through consistently because if you add your powder to a large amount of something it'll bit you up if that makes sense. Uh, the colour we've used for the blue is the frozen, ice. frozen ice. Okay so check the board is big enough. Yep roll. Cling film roll. It's so much easier to handle this way. Oh, that's a clever little tip. Roll it over so then you've got the holes for your fingers. Okay, so then you need a little bit of water on your board. I've got a few people asking about where you got your little cornflower pouch from. Um, it's Wilton, but I believe Sugar Sisters have one as well on the website. Amy will correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure at Cake International we were told to go to Sugar Sisters. Ah, Jan says that sugar super scraper is the dog's doodah. Oh, you can spare on mine, Mum, it's fine. No, that's what she's put. Ah, oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> she's right, it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, so once it's on, a little bit of cornflour just to stop it from being sticky as I smooth it out with a paddle. Okay, where did you get your roller? Um, it's a Sainsbury's one. It cost about seven pounds. I don't like expensive things. <laughs> ah. Plus, it's really, really good for my wrist. If you've got bad wrists, then the Big Daddy roller is also really, really good. Very similar, and it's really heavy as well. You don't want to drop that on your toes. Right, so Georgia has just been looking on the sweet success for the cakes and the mm -hmm. cream, etc., to do her own semi-naked wedding cake. Gutted that they only do them in six inches. Um, no, the cakes themselves are in even numbers. So 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and I believe they do 16s. But that might be worth looking at again yeah, then, Georgia. Yeah, they also do big ass slabs, which you can cut multiple cakes out of. But honestly, have a little look and go through it all properly, but they do more than six inches. You have to go onto the section where it says edibles and cakes and cake mixers. And then you click what flavour you want, and then there's a scroll down and you pick what size you want how many of each size they do rounds and squares that's brilliant suzanne she used one of her daughter's baby socks who is now 13. Yeah. a lot of people use pot socks as well yeah that's what they used to use yeah it's a good idea way back when hi from a hi ohio 1000 oh, views we've got 1000 people watching uh, were you popping air bubbles then? Yes, I was. There was a couple of little air bubbles on the board, so just popping it with an acupuncture pin. The reason I use those, they're about a pound for five off Amazon. It's really, really small, so you cannot see a hole, and you're not having to rub at it to hide that little hole either. So Samantha's not seen that trick before with the cling film. Does that work for covering a cake? Yes. It, I always do it for covering a cake. Okay, so because it's a square board, I want square edges on the board. So holding that there and just pushing the sugar paste out so it's perfectly straight and in line. 
I'm sweating like a pig under these bloody lights. Oh, Georgia's found it. She's uh, she clicked uh, cakes rather than going straight into the edibles. I'm glad no, you've got what fine. you're looking for, Georgia. I, I figured what you were looking at because when you go on it, there is certain cakes which are a bit more discounted. I don't know why. I think they might be a bit deeper. Um, which sugar paste are you using? I'm just using Tesco's today, believe it or not. <laughs> Perfect. I'm not nice doing Mexico. Oh, fabulous. I'm not using it to cover cakes, so I'm just using some Tesco for the board. Mm -hmm. Sweet success cakes are lush. My favourite is the toffee. I think I'd like oh, that one. It, that, the toffee one with salted caramel is absolutely delicious. Oh dear lord, I'm red up. It is quite warm actually, I've got to say. I'm tempted to unplug my phone and put fat on. <laughs> No. This is my own fault for buying more lights. Yes, but everybody can see better what you're doing. So what are those right. there that you're doing? So these are paddles and I'm just making sure the edges of the board are straight and in line so it all looks pretty. You don't want to half arse your job. Absolutely not. And I have to say when I played with those the other day, they're actually really good fun. <laughs> it was like ice it was a combination between ice skating and ironing. <laughs> Brilliant. Hi from Cumbria. Oh, hi. Um, okay. Okay. So we're done with that one. I'm going to do the risky bit now. I should really have put this in the fridge to set before trying to move it over to my board. Because <laughs> then it won't smudge anything. But I'm just going to wing it. Because it's me. Okay. So what fondant do you use to cover the cake, please? Okay. So normally I either use Select Island, Platinum or Renshaw Extra. Don't use the normal Renshaw. Use the Renshaw Extra. Hi from Missouri. Hi so, from Nigeria. That's the Renshaw Extra. It's really, really good. They, um, Select Island Platinum is really, really soft to play with. So it feels like Tesco, but it's much more hardier. Um, the Renshaw Extra is a really stiff paste. So obviously it depends really on what you prefer preference. If you like soft paste or if you like thick paste. Anna made your jam. Not sure that it's relevant. Of course it's relevant. Danielle made it. We love talking about it and she thoroughly enjoyed yes! it. Look at that for magical. <laughs> that is skill, Danielle. I did it and then I put my fingers into the icing. <laughs> Just because I'm heavy handed. Okay. So I do normally use the giant ass meat cleaver to move things for the fact of I'm just going to put it under there. Laura can't wait for you to make a wedding cake next year. Oh, Laura. Uh, Laura? Laura is Laura Elizabeth? Yes. Yes, I remember. And hi from Ab Abergavenny. Where's that? It's going to be Wales. I don't know. Yeah, it's going to be Wales, Abergavenny. I'm the blondest person you'll ever meet. Yes, you are. Okay, so I'm going to use some sweet stamps. Blinding have you used super paste by sugar sisters it tastes delicious no i've not had a chance to use that one just yet i keep meaning to get some every time i go over to ireland but i keep forgetting to ask for some uh, claire's giving you a round of applause fair play babe she watched you doing that through your fingers <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm going to use sweet stamp bubblegum set if you can see it you're on a roll uh, Kelly, do, do a live stay on the page because you can't find any. You can't find any lives because this will be Danielle's first live on her own page. My first one on Danielle's Sweet Treats. I normally do them on Cussing Caker, which is very, very different to how I'm doing them now. Usually I'm drunk and swearing and throwing and an absolute shithole. Right, more, what did you just pour onto the sweet stamp? I've just put... It there. <laughs> okay. So, and other ones are on sugar and crumbs. Right, so this is the pick it up, uh, sticky pick up pad. Oh God. Your little brother's watching. Oh, great, hi Jack. Um, if you can no longer pick your stamps up, it's a good job to clean these and your stamps. So just a bit of rejuvenator spirit, kitchen roll, and wipe it off. Just remove any dirt, any fluff, any corn flour. If you're like me, I am an absolute corn flour bug. I get that stuff everywhere. Just a reminder to everybody for liking and sharing. You're entering yes. into a competition to win a hundred pounds worth of the cake cream. The cake cream that we're using this evening. That will be the blue product that is glowing fabulously on the cake. And then later on, there will be a twenty. I will give you a discount code for Sugar Sisters, which gives you twenty percent off of the whole store. Now, keep in mind that's also the cake cream. They sell some sweet stamps. They sell chocolate. They sell sugar paste. They sell 
everything, all the cake decorating tools you could think of. And the 20% discount is available on the Sugar, Sugar Sisters. I'm having the biggest blondest moment, Emily, please don't kill me. On Sugar Sisters and on cakecream.com. But what I'm also what I've also done is if you use my website Danielle Sweet Treats, there's a 10% off of absolutely everything on there as well. Um what should I write on the board? Uh, okay, Georgia, um how much roughly are your two tier six and eight semi-naked wedding cakes in vanilla and jam filling if I was to buy my own flowers? I would personally message Danielle yeah. afterwards and then you can you can talk through some ideas. Yes. Yeah, so and uh, she'll let you know your prices then. I'll just explain now, it's fine. Okay. Um so a six and eight start from £120. Um I recommend you buy your own flowers anyway for the fact of then if I buy them they might be a different type of breed of rose they might be different stages of bloom different colors and it might look wrong so if you supply your own flowers not only is it cheaper in the long run because it's cheaper for you to buy more bulk rather than me just a couple of heads of roses or anything it also matches your wedding bouquet or your pinholes matches everything perfectly so then You'd leave that at the venue for me, or your florist would leave it there, and I'd add it all myself. So it's all done perfect and pretty. Perfect. Um, how can I get the sweet stamps? So sweet stamps are from, obviously, sweet stamp, or they're also available at Sugar Sisters. Okay, so once you've lined them out on the... It is a protective film, but it's also a guide to line them out. Using the pickup pad, you press down firmly, and then you lift it up. So the pickup pad is great for if you're doing loads of cupcakes of all the same thing, or cookies, on the side of cakes, so that it's straight and level, because there's nothing worse than putting them in and they go one kit. And it's also easy to just apply to the board that way. Can you say again about the 10%, please? Okay, so while there's 20% off Sugar Sisters and CakeCream.com, I'm doing 10% off of my website, and that's for everything. So keep an eye out for when i do say the word of what will be oh god now i've cleaned it i can't get anything off <laughs> um so watch out for the word which will be your thingy code discount code that's the word that's right i'm losing my love the apron says i was uh, i was trying to was lose tr weight i saw cake cake saw me cake, cake disappeared. disappeared i'm a magician we're on a roll <laughs> okay Happy. What day is it? Thursday, isn't it? It is, my lovely. Yeah. We're on 984 views oh, at the moment, so get liking and sharing. Let's see if we can't get uh, more views on this evening. We're not going to beat 2,400, I know that. But worth a try. Babe, this is your first live on your, your on own my page. page. I've been crapping it all day. I have to admit, she has watch. been pretty nervous. I'm, I'm normally fine on any anything else, because I do it weekly. But not on my page <laughs> there you go you see um let's have a look uh where are these particular stamps from so these are sweet stamp sweet stamp owns patent so any other letter stamps that you can find are actually infringing that patent amy is the originator of them and she's the original she has that many different fonts it's unbelievable and you can get them all from sweet stamp or from cake not cake stuff. Jesus Christ. Not cake cream. Sugarsisters.com. Sugarsisters.com. Holy. Holy moly. I'm having a bad day with Okay, today. so Teresa's ordered one of your aprons. Oh, fabulous. Excellent. Okay. Uh, what did you clean it with again, please? Rejuvenator spirit. You can use vodka or anything, or just wash it with water and a bit of soap. But I find this is better. It dries quicker. And now I can't get anything off. <laughs> <laughs> which sweet stamps would you recommend for cupcakes please cookie set it is a fantastic all-rounder i use that for cakes cookies cupcakes on the board because i don't like huge writing around the edge around a board so cookie set is fabulous as a good all-rounder and if you remember there's a 20 percent off discount code coming up soon which will also cover that on sugar sisters website Perfect. I just need to stop talking, I think. We've got lots of people <laughs> saying, well done, Danielle, you're doing fantastic. It's a brilliant live. Okay. Uh, sweet stamps are a game changer from Michelle. They are amazing. Okay. How think... old were you when you first started baking? Oh, wow. I've baked all my life. 
but I've only been decorating for the past seven since, well, nearly seven since having my little boy. Okay, so these are the easy pour bottles. I've just popped a little bit of dust from Sweet Sticks in there and there's Rejuvenate Spirit in there as well. I'm going to flood fill the letters. It's nice and easy and they can also be purchased from the Sugar Sisters website. Uh, how long will you have to use the code that you're going to give out this evening? Okay, so it is a flash sale, so it will not last long. How long's that? Do we not know? Do we need to ask Emily? Um, yes, Emily. Emily, can you let us know how long the uh, flash code? It doesn't last long. Let's just put it that way. I don't know if I'm allowed to say how long it lasts for. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look. Um. Uh, Emily, when will the 12 whole cupcakes be in stock? Another little question for you. How wide are the aprons, please? Do they come in sizes? Um, no, they just come as normal. Put it this way, I'm a size 22 and my boobs are double G. There you go. So it covers quite a uh, substantial amount of body flesh. Fat. Sex appeal. <laughs> Fat. Sex appeal. <laughs> Uh, and is the discount code for both of the websites, please? Yes, it's the discount code is 20% off of cakecream.com and for Sugar Sisters website. And it will also be a 10% off of my website. But also remember, there's the like and share giveaway for one of every single colour and one of every single flavour. And that will be drawn tomorrow. Did you say they were called the bubblegum stamps? Yes, this one's bubblegum. This one is bubblegum, but for the lady that wanted the cupcake ones, you need the cookie set. Um, Michelle struggles with flood filling uh, with the powders. She just can't seem to get the right thickness. Is there any tips? Okay. So first you need to press deep into your sugar paste, have a good wall. Then you need to make it kind of thick so it kind of only just flows nicely through the nozzle. You don't want it too thin, otherwise it just goes everywhere. But also keep the nozzle in line with the indentation. That way it won't just go everywhere. It'll go inside there. And it works with all the sizes of the stamps. So Emily's just replied, the sale is a flash sale and will last for one and a half hours. There you go. I didn't want to say it. I went and I didn't, I couldn't remember how I was allowed to say it. <laughs> I've got no space. Emily, do you sell sweet stamp boxes to keep the sweet stamps in? They're not available on their own just yet. Amy is working on that one now. Okay, so I'm going to use the SPD drip. You just take the lid off, heat it, drip, and you're on your, on your way. Uh, Jamila, we haven't said the code yet, so the code will be coming out over the eight towards the end. What time is it? The time is now precisely nine o'clock. Okay. Maybe in about half an hour I'll shout it out. And what is the flood bottle? So they're the Easy Pour bottles and they're by Sweet Stamp as well. So they'll be on the Sugar Sisters website. What's the name of the tiny bottle that you were using to fill the lettering in, please? Easy Pour bottles. Easy Pour bottles. Yes. Okay, so I did make these earlier. How cute is that? And they were made using the cake cream. And I will give you that recipe when I can remember where the hell I put it. Okay, so for the meringues, which I'm going to decorate the whole cake with, it's 45 grams of water for every 100 grams of the cake cream. It took about two minutes to whisk up on high in the mixer. And then you pipe out and you're on a roll. So I used 45 grams of water for these, but if you want a stiffer meringue, so they, fell, they softened up a little bit, if you want them a little bit firmer, then use 35 grams of water. Will the discount on um, on your site, Danielle, include your packs? Yes, 10% off of everything. So packs, aprons, levellers, you name it. Okay, so pop the lid on. That tiny bottle again, what was that? Easy pour bottles. Easy pour bottles. And they're from... Got... they're from Sugar Sisters or Sweet Stamp. Oh dear Lord. It's hot, so I've just got this. I know it looks bad. Mark walked in on the other day and went, what on earth are you doing? Well, yeah, you are a master baker. <laughs> <laughs> I did it on one of my other lives. I stopped and lid popped off. It just went all over me. I've never laughed so hard. Brilliant. And where did you get the drip? The drip, you can buy it online or from Sugar Paste Direct. I'm not sure if Amy or... Emily stock it. Was that about to fire out everywhere? Yep. Brilliant. Not on me. 
Uh, will you post the recipe later for the meringue? Yes, for the meringues I'll pop everything up later on. So to check if the drips are ready. Would anybody like to give Michelle a loan because she would like to take advantage of the <laughs> uh, the bargains that are going this evening? Okay. So I'm and what's Danielle's website? www.daniellesweettreats.co.uk At what point did you put the stick in the flamingo? Um, so I put a blob of the meringue mix, stuck the straw in it, and then I just piped over it. Sorry, I cannot multitask. <laughs> I'm awful at multitasking. And what are the price for your what's the price for your recipe packs, Danielle? So they vary. So it's from four from five pounds, four pack one. All the way to bundles, which is the full bundle is forty pounds. Okay, I'm perfect. Going to cake cream. I'm going to pipe some cake. Anna cream. Cowley, yes, superb sense of humour. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> Welcome, Wendy. It's your first time with us oh, this hi. evening. I hope we've not like scared you off already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nine hundred and ninety. Oh, a thousand uh, views. We've got a thousand people watching. After Tuesday, I may have ordered four. Yes. So I've now got four nozzles and I found the other one. Brilliant. Where was it out of curiosity? Here. <laughs> Just right in front of your face. Yeah. Yeah, that's excellent. <laughs> that's my girl. I'm special. So remember, everything I use, the products or a similar product is available at Sugar Sisters. They are fabulous and they suck everything. Okay, good question, Kelly. Does the discount only apply to aprons or, or that are there already or the custom-made ones too? Everything, but to be quite honest, I'm trying not to do as many of the custom things as possible because they kind of get a bit forgotten. Time. <laughs> from, from She's a busy girl. From the website, everything's there shouting at me. Do me! Did the meringue go in the oven? Yes, it did. Two hours on 90 degrees. Ah, oh, Auntie Sarah's watching. Hi, Sarah. Well, Auntie Sarah. Auntie Sarah, <laughs> do you ship to Ireland? Um, yes, I do. Yes. I believe it's £5 on the website. It charges me eight at the post office, but I'll just put it at £5. Because uh, so I thought eight quid was ridiculous to Ireland. Kristen, Danielle, I have to say I've watched you live for the past few and your cakes are amazing. You make it look so easy. Oh, thank you. Yes, she does. It's best when I know full well what I'm doing. I'm kind of just winging it as I'm going along tonight. Same as I do with all my life. Trying different products. Yeah. Having to play with new things. But when I've got cakes booked in, I know exactly what order and everything needs to go. I know exactly what design I'm doing. Whereas today, I really don't know. <laughs> oh, Maxine's on a winner. She's just had a tax rebate. She's going shopping. <laughs> well, that, that's a good thing. And yeah. then again, she tax next year. Ah, smarty pants. Uh, yes, I do still have the uh, lovely blue hair. It matches the cake quite well, to be fair. Liking and sharing, everybody. 1,100 we've got oh, at the wow. moment, so that's good. Um, you go into a draw then for £100 worth of the... Cake cream. Cake cream, which is what we're using this evening, and that will be the blue product that is glowing. And it is lovely and shiny. <laughs> it is. Okay, so, Mingo. Lucy's been crying all day, give me the Mingo. Give me the Mingo, that's brilliant. Is that why you bought a doll's house? Shh. <laughs> There uh, we go. Great live. Loving it from Ireland. Excellent. That's what we like. Oh, I broke my palm tree. Of course I broke my palm tree. Uh, bought some of the Savoy piping bags and they were huge. Yes, Felt like are. I was about to become a vet. <laughs> they are big. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just cut them down. I even made a palm tree from the rang mum and I broke them Babe, up. I'm still stuck I on the... Like, it. That's brilliant. But I'm still stuck on the fact that your piping bag made her feel like she was going to be a vet. That's brilliant. brilliant. Which is funny because I've been watching something on horses today. <gasps> she ate it. They're uh, so good. And they used something similar to a piping bag. But, I, I, you know, I now know what they do with a stud. Oh, no. no. Yeah. Ever so I interesting. know what to do. I don't want to So 1,100 views. Excellent. Lots of liking and sharing going on. I know what they do. I don't want to be reminded. Yep. Yum, yum, yum. No, not yum, yum, yum. So <laughs> these are... Sweet stamp pixie pearls. You can fill your letters in with these or just sprinkle them everywhere. That's a great idea, Tracy. She's got uh, used to be 
a hobby baker and stopped for personal reasons and then okay. her daughter's 18 coming up so now she needs to get a butt into gear and have a look through your packs excellent oh, fabulous nice oh, recipes lovely jubbly i want to reposition the mingo oh yeah we haven't announced the code yet so you haven't missed anything anybody what time is it uh why don't you use smaller piping bags because they come in a big roll of 200 right and they're a lot thicker than normal piping bags seven minutes past nine okay liked and shared love the flamingo so i love we. mingos mingos could you uh, will you give the instructions on making the flamingo and the palm tree please on the website uh yes more than fine perfect colors are fantastic liked and shared the flamingo uh, she actually made today from the products yes from the cake cream Perfectly. which is for i did this with 45 grams of water and 100 grams of the cake cream so pretty oh interesting jane fact for the evening not cake related <laughs> but in a quiz she found out what a group of flamingos are called have a guess danielle uh a group no idea go on then you're gonna have to tell us jane <laughs> oh, i thought they were like, you already knew it and it was dirt no something. no she's just said it she's gonna put it in a minute i just i need to not miss the comment now otherwise i'm gonna keep <laughs> me up all night uh where did you get the piping bags please i got them online from amazon and yes she will put on up on her page how she'd made the flamingo uh allison's supposed to be making a dinosaur but can't stop watching <laughs> Sorry. It's called a flock. A flock what, we, of flamingos. We could have shot. We flock. should have known that. A flock. Herd. No, a flock of birds, isn't it? Should have known it was flock. Well, why didn't you know? But I taught you nothing. I thought it was something like interesting. I have. I have a flamingo. Yes. Flamoyans. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah. I broke Mingo repositioning. Oh, that, we well, should do stop messing. What's your website I'm a fiddler. called? www.danielsweettreats.co.uk. Oh, I feel bad. I broke uh, She didn't paint the meringue. No. Oh, no, I painted his, like, eye. Oh, beak. what did you paint the meringue with? Sweet sticks. Sweet sticks for painting. It's a flock. It is a flock. Loving the cake. So are we. I'm going to. Mingo. Quite a fancy piece of it, to be fair. Loving the bright extras. colour. Can't imagine how much gel would be needed to get white buttercream, that deep blue. I made extra mingos. She made extra mingos, that's good. Lucy will be pleased. What, that she's not now getting a mingo to eat? Why well, are you going to give her a mingo? These were mingos for her to eat. That's all right then. Well, she can have this mingo. I broke the mingos. I'm actually really upset I broke it because I repositioned it. So well, let that be a lesson for faffing. <laughs> it's literally just sweet sticks edible paint. Looks incredible. Perfect. You haven't missed the code. It's not been said yet, but the time is now 10 past nine. Okay. So it will be coming shortly, I feel. Yes. Um, can you let Danielle know that it's Jane here? Hi, Jane. <laughs> Jane, the... The Deefy, Jane. The Deefy, and I hope I can hear the code later. D e f i e. Oh yes. R -F -I -E. yes. Emily will write it for you. She's deaf. Oh, well, I'm helpful, aren't I? She's deaf, and she's asked if I can get someone to write it out. Right, for I'll just put. I'll reply to her. Emily's gonna pop it. Yes. Try not to break the replacement mingo. Right, let's try to spell mingo. It this bit. <laughs> okay, right. Right, replied. Back on track. Okay, yes. okay. Yeah, it looks incredible. Put some three D milk on. Alison was told the other day that the national animal for Scotland is a unicorn. Yeah. I thought it was a man in a kilt. No. <clears throat> So I did make extra blobs to make 3D coconuts. Excellent. Because we love the coconuts. Yeah, Emily says, thank God for making extras. No, no. <laughs> I always 
normally normally make extras for kids. Well, and that's what they messed up blobs were for, Emily. <laughs> they weren't poops, and I didn't yeah. do it wrong. And Katie says, if you don't faff with the cake, you're not a cake decorator. Exactly. That's right. It needs to be done. I'm a faffer. I fiddle with things until the time it goes out. Looks really tropical and summery. Good. It certainly does. Very bright, very colourful. Emily Coyle, she'll be writing uh, the code in the comments, so don't worry. Okay. Uh, Alex, no, she didn't keep Mark busy with the cupboard doors. Uh, that would be Danielle's handiwork. Mark doesn't do anything. I'm the handy one. I'm the one that builds everything in this house. Uh, who's the cake for this evening then, yum yum? Uh, nobody. I might take a little piece. <laughs> Would be nice. If you want. Cake looks fab. You need some cocktails to go with it. Yes, we do. Last thing we need is Danielle drunk in the kitchen. No. Uh, what size board have you used there? 12 inch square. Oh, and look at that. Just in time for something alcoholic to go on the side. <laughs> they said cocktails. Yes. Welcome to my house. <laughs> There's always something available. <laughs> Mark may not share the vodka, though. No, Mark would share the vodka. He doesn't share with anybody. <laughs> Lisa says, mind your mingo. <laughs> I am minding the mingos. That's wrong, that I... Well, it's not wrong, but it's... When you have kids, when the kids say things wrong, you instantly pronounce it like that for the rest of your life. Uh, Danielle, what dust did you use to flood the letters on the board? Okay, so that dust was sweet sticks and it was a bronze and rejuvenated spirit. So I'm just using double-sided tape around the board now. You can use an edible glue, not edible glue gun, hot glue gun if you want to do it that way. Uh, what was the tape that you're using, please? Double-sided sticky tape, and you get it from Hobbycraft. Edible? Uh, no. Goes on the board, so it's not. Right, edible. I'm with you. It doesn't need to be edible. What point is, is that? the tape? Twenty-five mil. Uh, yes. Yes. Just double checking. Yeah. Uh, double no, sided sticky no, tape sorry, is what she's no. using. It's 15 millimetres, sorry, my apologies. Because your board is 12 millimetre, it's about 3 millimetre for your sugar paste, so a 15 millimetre ribbon. Took me back, took me a minute though. <laughs> I can't double tap, multitask anymore. Oh, you're doing really well. Don't forget, this. plenty of work you've been doing this week, babes, non stop. Why is there just bits of ribbon everywhere? Have you cut the ribbon? Who's cut the ribbon? I don't know. Well, it would, it's probably Mark who'd be putting his bunches in. <laughs> Big tails. <laughs> <laughs> right, third time, okay. If it doesn't go round, I'm going to give up. I'm not going to put any ribbon on it whatsoever. <laughs> what? <laughs> the ribbon is just broken. Would you like a different colour ribbon from your box of 14,000 boxes full Four. of ribbons? She is sulking. I hate women. Go for blue. That's a brilliant tip for putting the cake around the ribbon around the board. Uh, it takes her ages using the glue. Oh no, I love using glue. My daughter asked for a tiger cake when she was younger, a striped donut. Oh. And I ended up asking in the shop for a tiger cake. Brilliant. Oh, brilliant. Lucy calls polar bears fluffy sheeps. You used to call milk Nulke. Nulke, I remember Nulke. And then you poured it all down the back of the car seat and we had to sell the car because it stank that bad. And then I told everyone Dad got arrested. Yeah, <laughs> yeah then we went to sell the car, what, sell one of his cars once and she walked up to someone on the parking lot who was looking at our old car and said, that was our car, we had to sell it because Daddy went to prison. And just to say, Daddy never went to prison. <laughs> Danielle's always had an excellent imagination, which is probably why she's so good at cakes. Sorry, Dad. Uh, did you use edible glue to attach the meringues to the side? No, I used a bit of the melted chocolate. So, ta-da! I may have broken everything, but ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> it's better when you plan a design and have extras. Okay. Yeah, you should always have extras. 
So that's going over here. So the time is now 17 minutes past nine. Not a problem. Okay. So we're now going to bake. We're now going to bake. Oh dear Lord. It's just not my day. Is it? Oh, it's a good day. She used double-sided sticky tape to put the ribbon to the side of the cake. So what should we do first, guys? Do you want the salted caramel brownies? Or would you like raspberry and cream cheese filling cupcakes? So you do that while I just quickly wash this bowl. Okay, okay. So are we going for the brownies or whatever other thing she said? Raspberry and cream <laughs> cheese cupcakes. Right, so far we've got uh, brownies. Brownies. Brownies, 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 brown oh brownies, 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 brownies. Oh brownies, 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 brownies. Oh cupcakes, brownies. I will be making them better. Helen, I do feel like the, you're the only one who said cupcake. Oh no, Sandra wants cupcakes. I will be making both, but it's just what we're doing cupcakes. First. Well brownies does seem to have won hands down to be fair. Okay. Can we help the rainforest and use a smaller amount of the kitchen roll? One sheet does all. I like kitchen one roll. One sheet. I like kitchen roll. One sheet. Right. Raspberry cupcakes. It's <gasps> brownies. <laughs> brownies. 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 That's like Lulu when she growls at you when she wants oh. something. Doll's house. <laughs> Doll's house. Brownies. Brownies, brownies, brownies. Right, I think it's a hands down winner. We're going for the brownies, please. Yep, no problem. Well done on your cake. It came together lovely. That's Jamie. Fantastic. Brownies with a mingo. Good idea, Lisa. <laughs> I'm not doing brownies with a mingo. <laughs> brownies, brownies, cupcakes, brownies. Okay. <laughs> We're going for brownies. We're going to go, go for the brownies. We're going to make the brownies. Perfect. Brownies, brownies, brownies. Actually, I could eat a brownies and they'll cool first then, won't they? So that means I can eat one. No, because I'm going to make them and then I'm just going to shove them all together. Oh, well. So I'll probably go off and then take photos of everything later. Oh, right, okay. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, so for brownies, you want the mixer again. Whisk. You can do it with the paddle if you want, but I prefer the whisk, add a bit more air into there. Okay, so in a separate bowl, first you want 70 grams of butter. Maria loves the cake, but says it would look so much nicer in her kitchen. I bet it would. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Laura's niece calls flamingos flingos. Flingos. So that's oh. still that is very cute. Flingos. Flingos. Can I change Lucy's to flingos? Do you think? No, because she's chose mingos. They're not mingos. They're fingo flingos. 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 So what mixer have you got, please? It's a Kenwood Chef. It's a bit blue from all this stuff a minute ago. So you want seventy grams of butter. I like to use salted butter. Uh, Maxine, no, there's a table to the right that the mixer goes on and there's a bin to the left where the rubbish goes. And then there's a pile of cardboard ready for burning later on. <laughs> and then it's bonfire night later with all the boxes. Yes, it's Jake's birthday soon, so we've got... It's box central. Okay, oven to 180 degrees for this. And I've put too much butter in. Like and share to win. Uh, the uh, You'll be given a £100 worth of the icing product that we've used this evening, which is called cake cream. The blue that we use is called frozen ice. Okay, so we're using the flavoured one for this one. We'll be using the, yeah, just double checking I've got the right one. Salted caramel. <laughs> Salted caramel cake cream for the brownies. Okay, so Ooh. with 70 grams of butter, you want 70 grams of dark chocolate. If you don't like using dark chocolate, I made it with white and I've made it with milk as well and it's absolutely fine, but I want it really ooey gooey chocolate. I'm going for 70 grams of this. Uh, Trudy, now this cake she's made this evening isn't an order. She's made the cake so that she can sample and use the products for you to see and learn how to use. And then uh, family and friends will devour the cake. 
and be extremely happy that she's got this for a job. Love watching you, Danielle. I've learned so much these last few months, and that's from Nicola. Oh, fabulous. Right, so that goes in the microwave. You want them to melt together. What brand of chocolate is it you're using? I'm just using Dr. Oetcroft, the baking aisle. Nice and easy. Okay. Bowl, grease and everything free. Um, there we go. So you want 200 grams of cake grease. And these are the 400 gram bags. So you're going to use 200 grams out of that 400 gram yeah. bag. Excellent. And this will be one of the flavours that you will be given in the prize draw. Look at that, beautiful. I can use something bubbling. Smell that. Oh wow, that smells beautiful. Okay. Definitely are going to have a brownie. I'll have to take one home hot. Uh, when will the prize, uh, the prize be drawn? It will be drawn tomorrow at 8 p.m. and I will be on my own, probably hiding in the bathroom, same as yesterday's live. <laughs> oh, those kids were screaming, so I went and hid in the bathroom to introduce my friend onto a live. How long in the microwave and at what power? Just until it melts, which I really need to check if it's thick. Um, Kirsty would like to know where to get the cake cream from. Okay, so cake cream is from Sugar Sisters, or you can get it from cakecream.com. Okay. Do, 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 do. Needs a little bit longer. And Natasha was meant to go for a run this evening. Instead, she's decided to stay in the kitchen and watch you. Bab. With the idea of putting calories on, not losing them. <laughs> okay, so two 200 grams of cake cream powder, 125 grams of water. Uh, what is the cake cream used instead of in the recipe that you're doing? One sec. I don't want to do this wrong. One sec. Okay. Instead of eggs and sugar. Instead of eggs and sugar. And the pack that Danielle just tipped in was cake cream. Which is the product we're using this evening to show you for everything how to fall in love with it. Yes. It's got so many and things. What flavour is that again? So this one is the salted caramel. It's white in colour, so it's great to make white cake and then you can colour it yourself. But it's a flavoured one, which is it's not few. So you just want to combine that together. Well the oven being on melt the cake you put on top of it. Probably. it's just a slight bit warm so i boiled it before i started baking earlier and i've just let it cool down so it's slightly slightly warmed okay so i'm just gonna use this one make sure you get everything down off the sides you want it all combined in there and then give that a good mix for a few there's a nice intense chocolatey smell in the mm. kitchen dark chocolate and butter okay so just pop that on for a good minute on high, just to mix that up. When will the square stamps be back in stock, please? Um, they might be some next week, maybe. there but while I'm doing that I'm just going to talk to you guys. So the prize draw will be drawn at 8 p.m. tomorrow and it's for like and share. You'll get one of every single colour of cake cream and one of every single flavour of cake cream. So it's over £100 worth of cake cream which to be honest is just amazing and I'm tempted to enter, enter myself. Uh, Debbie wants to know if the cake cream is internationally posted to Canada. Yes, so if you're worldwide, you're probably better off ordering from cakecream.com. That one is more suited for all over the world. Okay. Mm, Kelly says, nice new under the light cupboards. Thank you. Uh, under the cupboard lights, rather. The remote controls. <laughs> Where is it from? Mary doesn't have the stamp mixer, can this be done by hand? Okay, so you want 
60 grams of cocoa. And what brand of cocoa are you using there? I'm just using Dr. Oatka. I got it all early from Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's. Then oh, you've got shares in Sainsbury's. I may as well have. Lots of liking and sharing going off. That's good. 752 viewing at the moment. That's fabulous. 125 grams of plain flour. All the recipes will go up on the website. Not the website. On the page and everything. I'll share it all later on. What have I just knocked out there? Uh, actually, I don't know. I'm reading on the phone, so I didn't see. Okay. I don't know why I got eggs out, so I don't need eggs. No eggs for this evening. Right, so I'm just going to give that one more minute mixing up and then I'm going to add that stuff. So I'm using the pizza mould that everyone's been raving about. I just got mine from Amazon. Um, and I've just used Fry Light one calorie spray in there. Oh, that's a good idea. It works fabulous as heat release. Oh, there you go then. Okay, so I'm going to put this on low just till it all combines. I don't want to over mix it. So as soon as it's combined, we're going to start playing. What size cake will a package of cake cream fill and cover? There's different sizes in the cake cream. Yeah. And it this... does say on the front different sizes. For instance, the blue frozen ice 400 gram packet that she used this evening. Um, it says uh, 36 yeah. cupcakes, fill and frost an 8 inch round cake. So if you look on the website at what you're looking at, scroll down and it will tell you what you can do with what. How much cocoa powder did you put in then, babe? 30 grams. Love the tray. Where did you get it? Amazon? Amazon. I love Amazon. Uh, okay. Maria, glad that the recipes and things are going onto the website. Miss Bits and Bobs. This will also stay up on my page if you want to watch back as well. If you could recommend one product that everyone needs for baking, what would it be? Can I guess? Craft knife. Really? Now I said mixer. No, I used to use a hand mixer. Oh. Craft knife then, there you go. What scales do you use? Um, they're just from Argos. And yes, Petra, it was fry light. The one calorie fry light spray. I love it. Are the pizza moulds worth it? She's been debating to get one and that's from Sarah. I prefer them for brownies, but they're good for cakes and stuff as well. Or when you've melted chocolate and you're finished with it, pour it into there for it to set and to cool before you can take it back out and pop it back in a bag to use later on. Oh, good plan. So I'm just popping this What would you call that mould? Pizza it, mould? It's just pizza mould. Pizza mould. No, I don't. You haven't missed the uh, discount code yet. No, what time is it? The time is 9.31. Okay, guys. So, the code is now live. <laughs> so, for any of you that know me, I got to choose the, I got to choose the code. And the code for the 20% off is Oklahoma. I knew it would be Oklahoma. <laughs> Oklahoma. So, that's for 10% off of my website, 20% off of Kate cream.com and 20% off of everything in sugar sisters so that even covers sweet stamps at sugar sisters it covers everything okay mr so. beginning what's the cake cream a cake filling cake creams to cover it you can bake with it it's fabulous right so i'm just going to half fill everything at the minute that's why it's in a piping bag Jake's walking around upstairs again. Oh, I'm a little dude. Yes, Francis, it's Mark's safe word. <laughs> Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Okay. So I'm going to put some 
salted caramel in the middle of them. So we've got a thousand people watching at the moment. Yes, the safe word is Oklahoma. Oklahoma. So if anybody can put that in the comments for me, that will be fabulous for the ladies. It's already there. Good. So that is the 20% off coat. And it will be on until 11, I believe, for an hour and a half. So everybody's now going to be typing away. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma. We are nearly done now anyway, so you can wait till the end of the live to then go buy stuff. Why are you using a piping bag? Because I'm going to pipe it inside, all pretty. I don't want to, and it's thick. So. Yes. Okay, so the code is now live for Sugar Sisters and CakeCream.com for 20%. Danielle's site for 10% off the whole website, everything covered. The code is Oklahoma. <laughs> so I'm just doing a pattern in the middle. I don't want to put it at the edges because I don't want to crisp it up too much on the edges. Okay, so how long is the sale on for? It's an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. Mine is on until tomorrow. Danielle's is on for 10% till tomorrow. And this is the salted caramel that I made on the live the other day so 175 grams of soft brown sugar 300 grams of double cream 50 grams of butter okay so i've got a couple of people saying the code isn't working on where it, it's uh is the code donna what's the code not working on what website my darling because emily is watching so she can help us okay okay uh, Sharon, we could always we can always rely on you for hints and tips. Oh, thank you. I try my best. Like. Uh, let's just have a look. I've got a few people saying the code's not working on Sugar Sisters. Emily, if you could have a quick look into that and get back to us, put comments on. That would be good. So I'm just putting that all back in there for you. Too. Okay, so Maria says it's not working on your side, so that's not it's not working on Danielle's side oh. either. Right, okay, so after the live, I will fix that on mine and I'll put it on for today and tomorrow. Can you spell Oklahoma for me, Danielle? I'm gonna L -K -L -A -H -O -M -A. well. Oklahoma. Oklahoma. I googled it to make sure I spelt it right. Brilliant. <laughs> Spelling is what we're looking for is O A K L A H O M A. Literally the way it is on Google. We Googled to make sure. Yes, so it's Oak La Homa. Okay, so they're in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. You want it crusty on top. If you put a knife through it and it pulls out with wet moisture, wet mix on it, I put it back for five to ten minutes more. If it comes out with crumbs and a little bit stiffy gooey then you're on a roll. If you want them really well cooked, then just go for crumbs. Right, let's wash this and I'm on to next cupcakes. And then we are done. My water's blue. So the code is live and you just need to be spelling it O-A-K-L-A-H-O-M-A. -A -A. Oklahoma. I can smell something burning. Is, no. it, is it the stuff on the top of the oven? No. Oh, yes, we've got working. Lovely, Debbie. Glad that it's working for you now. Fabulous. I just splattered water everywhere. I don't need that now, so I can move the cake so it doesn't break. Right, and now on to cupcakes. Jeez. So Oklahoma, O A K L A H O M A. That's it. We've got codes working now. That's superb. Okay. And I will sort mine after the live. Okay. Oh, I'm so all over today. I'm just sorting something on the laptop because I'm trying to see it so I can see comments as well. Ah, right. Okie dokie. So Nicola's just saying from what she can see, Oklahoma, you've spelt it differently for Danielle's site and then differently for the other two. Oh, God, my So God. that would make it sense. That would yeah. make it easy. So if everybody could just be aware that Danielle's site is um, okay, 
for Oklahoma and Sugar I'll Sisters is O A K, but Danielle is gonna fix that later. That's my bad. Screaming children while I'm trying to sort things doesn't work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so I'm just chucking some cupcake cases. How many viewers have we got, Mum? Uh, we're on 761 at the moment. Um, we've answered the question about if you made the caramel, could you please say the ingredients again? Okay, so 175 grams of soft brown sugar, 300 mils of double cream, 50 grams of salted butter, a little bit of salt. Boil that all down together in a pan, give it a few minutes to boil over when it's all combined, and you're on a roll. If you want it to thicken up, Put a tablespoon of corn flour in a separate bowl with a bit of the caramel sauce, mix all that together, then put that back in the pan and mix that all together. It means it will not be dusty and speckly and it combines better. Right, cupcakes! Just to let you all know that any questions that I do miss or don't get answered on here, Danielle or Emily will be looking through them and answering them uh, later on. Right, you'll have to bear with me again. I've had to write everything down because I'm the biggest forgetful person you'll ever meet. Right, Nicola, very sorry, Emily has confirmed it's Oklahoma on both, so it is O-A-K-L-A-H-O-M-A. -A -A. It's probably me that spelt it wrong. No, Again. it's the same on both, apparently, so we're on a roll. So get yourselves your orders in. Don't forget we're uh, still liking and sharing. I literally went off of Google, what Google said. Okay, so where did you buy the marble self-adhesive contact paper? Amazon. Amazon. Five pound of roll, but you are limited to the amount of rolls. So you want 140 grams of butter. You can use, like, yeah, shall I? No, what? I'm just going to use this. 140 grams of butter. I'm going to warm this up a little bit as well. So I'm going to give this a little blast in the microwave again and warm that up a bit. Okay, okay. We've got lots of different comments on the spellings of Oklahoma and which sites and things. Um, we will sort it all later. We will sort it all out for you later on. The code is now live for Sugar Sisters and CakeCream.com with 20% off and it's live for Danielle's site for 10% off the website. And I will fix mine later. And the correct code is Oklahoma, O-A-K-L-A-H-O-M-A. -A -A. <laughs> oh my bad, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> okay, okay, yep, Sarah's just made a nice little purchase on Sugar Sisters, thank you very much. Fabulous, thank you. Okay, so with your 140 grams of butter, you've got 200 grams of cake cream, so I'm gonna use the white again, and I can't open it. Have you cut the top? Yeah. I used it earlier. Oh, yeah. I just got slippery putty fingers. Karen takes me all day to make a few cupcakes and decorate. You're Wonder Woman doing three things in two hours. She is Wonder Woman. I can't use that. It melted. Who back? Oh, just push me out of the way. Good job there's wheels on my chair. I could have just passed you whatever it was you were after. Yep. I'm going to use Vitalite because I overcooked and made it. Uh, Jeanette bought from both. Thank you, girls, for the discount. Uh, Danielle, have you ever made brown sugar with caster sugar and treacle? Yes. Just a tablespoon to every 300 grams of sugar. Oh. You just put it all together and mix it up. Uh, Maria's just bought all nine of your packs. Oh, Great yeah. price, uh, and now even better with the extra discount. I need another spoon there. Uh, Michelle doesn't want to leave the live, but she does hope that things stay in stock for her to purchase. <laughs> okay, so 200 grams of cake cream. I'm using Whisper White. Well, the, this live will still be on your page tomorrow anyway for people to watch yeah. back. If you nip off for five minutes to buy something and then come well, back, you're it's more on until 11, and I'm nearly done. There so as go. soon as this is in the oven, then I'm going to shut off. Okay, so 200 grams of that. I'll pop that in there. You want that to be mixed together and creamed. Nadine, try O-A-K-L-A-H-O-M-A. Oh, that 
that's it then. You look like the brilliant baker. Mommy's the businesswoman. <laughs> it comes with age, I think. <laughs> I'm, she bakes, I eat. That's a fair deal. It's a good deal, that one. Again, you want slightly warm water. You want 125 grams. 125 grams, 125 grams, both the same. Right, the cookie stamp set is sold out, so yes. does that mean we can't use the code for discount now when they are back in stock? No, because what it is, they're all technically sold out, but I've kept a couple behind, so once all my orders are sent out and everybody's received theirs, if they get it and everything's okay, then those stock will come on when I'm finished, posting everyone else's out. I like to keep some back in case posted fails. Thanks for the code. Got myself uh, another few sets of the sweet stamps to add to my collection. That's Emma. That surprises. I think people are shopping. We've got 657 people watching, so there's some shopping going on. I'd say there is a plan. Um, what other set? Oh, I've lost you. What other sets of sweet stamps are good for cupcakes, please? Vanilla or cookie? There you go then. Danielle, are you enjoying using the cake cream? Would you use it instead of buttercream? Yes. Especially for coloured. So I've actually got a cake for Saturday. I'm going to be using the black pack. Nice. <laughs> and Danielle's site for 10% off the whole website. The correct code is Oklahoma, O-A-K-L-A-H-O-M-A. -A -A okay, so I want to add 175 grams of buttermilk, that's at room temperature. If you don't have buttermilk, you can make it with milk and lemon juice and leave it on the side for 10 minutes. Uh, do you have to put the payment details in first, like your card details, before you put the discount code in? No, it should all be on the same section, my darling. Evening all. Night, hello, Susanna. Bought sugar scraper, eight packs. Uh, no bubble gum sold out. Oh, oh dear. No. Popular products. It is really, really popular, bubble gum. Okay, Claire just loves watching, Danielle. <laughs> Fab. You can sit and watch it for watch it for hours, to be fair. It's now quarter to ten, peeps. And you want to add a small handful of raspberries. You don't want to add too many. If you don't want to use fresh raspberries, then you can use frozen, the freeze dried, which I'm going to add a bit of both. Because why not? If you look at the bottom of the order details, you'll see the space for the code. Debbie, can't get it to work. Try again, making sure you've got the right spelling of O A K L A H O M A. I'll be saying that in my sleep, I think, this evening. <laughs> and you have to mix it on high. Just combine it on. Uh, Emily's just done a restock of the sweet stamp stock, so go quickly if you're wanting to get some of those. Just reset that for you, so have a look. The code is working. That's excellent. First time watching, and definitely not the last, Katrina. Oh, Good, fabulous. like to hear it. Okay, so self-raising flour. I either like Aldi's Normal, or if you can get hold of McDougal Supreme, then you're on a roll. Okay, and you want 260 grams. Will you be putting all these recipes onto your page, yes. onto your site later, Danielle? Everything is going up later on. Uh, Debbie, if you put all your card details and everything in, there will be a space at the bottom of the page for you to put your uh, discount code. 
and you just want to mix that on low for a minute just for it all to come by so otherwise you're going to get the huge cloud uh-huh unless like danielle you've got some magical thing that sits on top of the blender lid there you go you see shannon's excited her packs are ordered oh fabulous Julie's ordered a pack as well. Excellent. There's going to be lots of baking going on. So that is our raspberry cupcake mix. Obviously you can turn this into a cake if you wish, but I prefer to do it as cupcakes because I like the cream cheese filling in the middle of a cupcake. Safi Ann's a first time watcher. Definitely be following the page. What a lovely name, Safi. It sounds lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. I've probably made too much for this, but I'm going to just pop it all in anyway. Beautiful. Just ordered the super scraper and eight packs of cake cream. Oh, That's Debbie. Fab. Oh, fab. Kitchen smells very nice this evening. <laughs> Sorry, I'm concentrating. I'm in my own world. Babe, I just can't wait to try one of them brownies. I think I fancy a brownie more than the cake, but I did eat cake on Tuesday. You had my bake or cake? Yes, I did. I actually did have some bake or cake for breakfast as well this morning. Or was oh, that yesterday? Dear. No, it was yesterday morning I had bake or cake for breakfast. So you said you were all at it with a spoon. Yes. First time watching, just ordered hot pink and black cake oh, cream. Fabulous. Okay. Uh, what cake cases are they, please? They're just plain white ones, guys. I got those from Great Cake Warehouse. Huge um, bundles. First time watcher, Anora, another lovely name. What's your page, Danielle? www.daniellesweettreats.co.uk or my group for all the bakers is Cussing Caker. The Cussing Caker. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to wash this off and then I'm going to make some. Nadine's just ordered the blue, the pink colours and salted caramel. Ooh. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Oh, that's nice, Tara. Loves watching your baking lives. It's giving her a baking spark back again. Oh, fantastic. I'm so happy. Uh, but Helen, you missed the recipe. She will put it onto her page later on so that you've got it to... Uh, You'll be able to screenshot it then and you have it forever. Okay, dope. So, I'm just going to make the cream cheese filling using the... Cassandra, we are baking from Nottinghamshire. Oh. Took me a minute then. I, I just realised meant then. Me, yeah, us, not them. <laughs> right. So, I'm just going to give this a little tap on the side. Remove any air bubbles and distribute the stuff perfectly. Okay. So 250 grams of cream cheese. I'm using full fat filler. Really. 250 grams. Nina's just done her order. Andrew wants to know if we can deliver to Scotland. Yes. Uh, checking out your postage on uh, on the site. Oh, yes. And if you if you communicate with Danielle or with Emily, we will help you. They will help. Any questions that get re get typed on here this evening that I don't read out or anything, oh. then uh, they'll both be looking through them and do getting back to you all anyway. Okay, so you need 80 grams of cake cream in here. Mm, Alison's just ordered the Vibrant set and Super Scraper. Oh, and Fab. Drips. Fabulous. <laughs> they have everything. Honestly, if you ever get a chance to go to Ireland, go to the Dublin shop. Oh my. That's just like a baker's wet dream. Nice. Right. Just mix that together until it's all combined. super tasty actually lovely jubbly oh, 
Suzanne's done, Suzanne's done some cupcakes tonight. Uh, just oh, going to pipe you. them into the cases and have come away from the cakes. Why does this happen? Um, <laughs> it could be two things. One, you've not filled your cases enough. Or two, um, your mix was rather wet and the steam from it caused it to peel. So a way to get away with that is if you put kitchen roll out on your cooling rack, put your cake, cupcakes straight onto them and the kitchen roll or tissue paper will absorb the extra moisture which will stop your cases from peeling. Okay, so the cream cheese mixture, put into the bag. You, you make that look so easy. I thought have gone all of its side if I'd have done that. What is cake cream? So cake cream, it's a Swiss meringue buttercream mix, but you can bake with it. You can make macaroons, meringues, you name it. Anything with egg and sugar, it can substitute one way or another. Okay. Snip the end off. So with this, stick your piping bag straight in the middle, not all the way to the bottom of the case. And you want to make a nice big ball in the centre. Okay. Um, do you use the paddle or the whisk on your chef? Also, uh, do you have the rubber wings on your paddle? No, I normally use the paddle, but for this, I mean, for the cake cream, I use the whisk. Uh, place an order. It's very busy. It's taking ages. It will if the site's got lots of action on there. Okay. No. So those are done and they're going to go in the oven. Took a minute. So what I'll do is I'll pop these in the oven. They need 160 degrees. That's in 180 at the minute, actually. Uh, Suzanne, wicked thanks. How much? Uh, thank you so much. How do I order your packs? Oh, they might be done. They're all on the website, www.danielsweettreats.co.uk. Ah, oh, how dirty. Oh, I'm glad you organised, Debbie. Autocorrect was changing the spelling for her. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get one of these out, even though it's hot. I want here. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Oh, look at the caramel bursting out of those. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Yummy. They're not meant to pour out like that. Oh, well, it looks nice. But they'd also be good with melted chocolate drizzled over the top when they're done. Oh, just finished my granddaughter's first birthday cake, Tanya. Oh, fabulous. Sat eating tea while she's watching <laughs> on a silver gilted covered phone. <laughs> All done whilst watching the fabulous live. Excellent, multitasker. We love multitasking. Right, let's see if we can get this out without burning my hands. Well, just one piece out. That does look really quite hot and moistly <laughs> fresh. So around the edges with a knife, just to make sure it doesn't stick. Oh, hot, 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 look hot. at that. Ah, it's too hot. <laughs> um. uh, Danielle used uh, fry light and uh, not garlic fry light, just the plain fry light or the to olive oil. Uh, grease the silicon mould. Ta da! Look at that leaking, oozing caramel. How hot. And that is a salted caramel brownie. Let's put it on a decent plate, shall I? Not the children's plates. Well, it was put a better stain on there because I'm going to eat it. My whole cupboard's falling out. They do look yummy. Cindy says it looks blooming lo lovely. Huh. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, look at that. Moist in the middle chocolate and salted caramel. Hello. <laughs> so nice and ooey gooey and beautiful. I'm guessing you wanted to take them home. Absolutely. <laughs> yes, you may keep the cake and I will take the chocolate yummy yummy brownies. Not a problem. So now that is everything. That's the brownies. The cupcakes are in the oven and I will show you those when they're done. In it. Stop it! Stop touching everything. I just wanted to taste the caramel. She's stealing. And a cake with meringue, palm tree and mingo, <laughs> replacement mingo. Um, so yes, we used, one second, we used cake cream for absolutely everything. I'm red under these lights. It is rather hot under the lights. One sec. Stop nicking things.
beans. You're going to burn yourself, mother. It's got hot sauce and caramel in it. Oh. Mmm. You're going to burn yourself. No. That's delicious. That's the breathing flies coming through a window. That's delicious. So that is everything made with the cake cream. So we made the Swiss meringue buttercream, which is blue. Made the meringues. Made the cupcakes. Made the cream cheese filling for the cupcakes. Made the brownies. So a full night of cake cream. Like I said, I am new to the product myself. I didn't see the point in practicing and practicing and practicing because there's nothing worse than when you watch someone where they know exactly what they're doing and that's that. There's no fun because when it fucks up, you want to know how to fix it. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I had lots of fun and I hope you all did too. So please remember the 20% off for sugar... Sugar... Is it .com or is it IE? Sugarsisters.com and then cakecream.com mm. And then 10% off mine which is danielsweetreats.co.uk And um, please remember to like and share the post for a chance to win One of every single colour and every single flavour Which is worth over £100 worth of cake cream Which I will be drawing tomorrow at 8pm um, Here on my page So whoever wins if you send me your address Then I will send it to Emily and Emily will send it you directly from the shop. Right. That's a good is. <laughs> uh, sugarsisters.ie. Dot IE. I'm having a minute then. I've been thinking about it all live and I just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's there, but I just didn't register. <laughs> I'm tired. You're I'm sure you're forgiven, babes. I'm tired and I now need to go and make a dollhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm burning a lot of cardboard. Excellent. Right, so yes, thank you everybody. I will post photos up later on or in the morning. And recipes. And but recipes come with the photos. Do you want me to bag you one of them up, Mum? Oh, I'm just going to take them all. You can't take them all. I've got to take photos, so I'm going to have to keep one or two of them. We can keep one. Okay, I'm only allowed to keep one. Right, okay, so thank you everybody for joining me tonight. And I really look forward to seeing you all again, hopefully soon, if you've all enjoyed the live on this page. If not, then I'm just going to carry on with the cussing caker. <laughs> right, thank you, everybody. Good night. <laughs>